hi welcome back to my pick a card channel the tarot cottage my name is amy i'm here today with a pick a card reading for you so pull up a chair get cozy we're going to have a little chat today because we're all friends when we gather around my table for today's pick a card topic we're looking at a no contact situation and how does the person on your mind right now feel about you today what were their thoughts today how are they truly feeling about you we want to welcome back our beautiful returning subscribers of course as always welcome back to the channel thank you so much for all of your beautiful comments as well in the comment section and just a reminder to my subscribers to anybody new entering the channel as well that I do offer a chance to win a free tarot reading and all you have to do is drop your comment below any of my videos this month for your chance to win and be sure to hit your share button your notification bell so that I can notify you if you are chosen the winner but again for today's topic it's all about no contact how do they truly feel about you right this moment we have three piles to choose from today we have a pile number one here with the small chalice we have pile number two here with the wide chalice and the green emerald. And we have pile number three here with sort of like a genie's lamp <laughs> um, for pile number three. So whichever pile or piles are calling out to you, there may be messages waiting from spirit. And I'm going to jump right into pile number one. Again, no contact. How do they truly feel about you right now? Hello, pile number one. You are drawn to the chalice. And this is your reading. How does the person on your mind in no contact truly feel about you right this moment? You were drawn to the Under My Umbrella card, number 20 here from the Oracle of Mystical Moments. And this is your reading. So the person on your mind, first of all, the Under My Umbrella card speaks about a lot of protection and the desire to protect. Um, there's even a sense of at my own risk, wanting to protect you at my own risk. Because this person has crawled up the back of this beautiful bird, and at any moment this bird could swing around and snip a bite, but it chooses instead to risk itself, to get itself all wet in order to keep it protected. So there's a deep sense almost of friendship or of loyalty with this person towards you in this moment. And even number 20 that you are drawn to, the, the number 20, does speak a lot about reflection and judgment energy. So they are spending a lot of time going over things in their mind, things from the past, things that have been sticking with them over and over like a rumination. So let's take a look here. It almost feels as though as well if they would want to protect what they have established in this connection in some way. But how do they truly feel please about pile number one in no contact? I'm using the, the Tarot of Mystical Moments for you, Pow One. We are starting here with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position. The Three of Wands, we're going to keep it just like that. These are big cards, but we'll try to fit it all in. The Nine of Wands. I'm getting a lot of sort of a lot of energy that kind of reminds me a lot of that movie with Tom Hanks where he was stranded on a desert island counting the days. It may have been a very long period of time in no contact. We have the Page of Pentacles. And now I'm getting a very strong sense of grass is much greener there anticipating that grass would be much greener on the other side with you. Here's the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, along with the Four of Cups, and there's the Umbrella again. Back of the deck, we have the Moon. A lot of Scorpio energy here with the Ten of Cups. This person really feels like the two of you are sort of in this together. Like you both are similarly matched you both have similar feelings you maybe have perhaps have similar situations as well at home they just feel like the two of you are kind of in this situation together and they feel like they are holding back but it's like they're holding back intentionally and they're holding back to a point like they do have desire to reach out they do have desire to communicate with you but they're really concerned about the opinions of other people and they're really concerned about even protecting you from the opinions of other people they do think about how things sort of just stayed in one place in your connection in the past as well. And so all they have to draw upon is what could have been in this connection. It does feel like you might have been sort of the one that got away. 
And I feel a very strong intention of this person wanting to reconnect with you in the future. Even here with this King of Cups energy, there's a lot of fatherhood energy surrounding him, but he's also holding on to this sail ship like he doesn't want this sailboat to fly away or to float away rather. He's trying to protect himself and you in this moment, but also trying to protect the connection and keep it in a place, again, much, even if it's dangerous for them, to protect it in some sense. We have the Ace of Cups. And I do feel like they, they are very disappointed in themselves and disappointed in the opportunity that they had with you that they did not take. Because they feel like they should have brought forward an offer. So this may not even be an ex. This could be somebody who should have been your ex. <laughs> or somebody that you should have been in a relationship with. But the two of you just kind of dragged your feet. Or you're both waiting for the perfect moment. And that, that moment didn't come. It could have been a friendship with the Six of Cups here. And they hold you in such high regard. That's why I feel like it's there's love here. This person has a, a very loving heart, first of all. They just have like a... They're a bit of an emotional creature, which is wonderful, but they apply a lot of that emotion to nostalgia. They think about the past quite a bit. They think about youth. It's like you, um, like an untapped energy is what I'm feeling. We have the Two of Pentacles. And there is an emphasis even here with these two ferns that are off kilter on the Two of Pentacles. And that's why they haven't given up for the future. They don't know when it's possible. They don't know how it's going to be possible, but they're like, I'm just biding my time. This rose of empowerment, even though I have this big thorn right, right through the center of the rose, I'm not letting that deter me. I'm holding on. I feel like they've been holding on for a while, at least for a few years. And that's, a, that's the low end of the spectrum I feel here in this pile, pile one. Because they do, like they see the truth now. It's like they, but it took them time. It took them other relationships. It took them experience to see the truth when it came to you. And there's a very strong friendship energy surrounding this connection. Um, a strong desire to reunite with you. Eventually, though, I keep hearing eventually. Now is not the time for them or they can't in this moment because they can't change directions. But they think about it and they fantasize about it. And they tell themselves the reason why they're not coming forward now is because they're trying to protect you. But the truth is part of them is trying to protect themselves and potentially part of them is trying to protect their status or having to make a decision. There's the two of pentacles again. Now there is an emphasis here on connection that could come in or communication that could come in in the next two years. Here's the six of wands. And I do get a sense of marriage. There could be marriage here as some type of theme for you or this person, potentially both of you, pal one. And here, because there's a reality here that just is. Um, when it comes to being able to have an opportunity, when it comes to being able to communicate with you. These sorts of realities, I don't feel it were in existence or were a thing when the two of you met, when the two of you had some type of connection. I don't think that the complications were as practical as they are today. And that's just part of life or part of their reality in this moment. But they know they have to face that sense of defense if they want to ever see progress here in this connection. And they're really nervous about it. I just think that they just keep going over certain moments with you, certain days with you, that they feel like they really missed out on a chance. Yeah, playfulness. I always think of the Six of Cups here. And they're very, there's a strong connection to the daisy and whether or not you liked me or whether or not I, you know, do you like me? Do you like me not? Just going back and forth and sort of a cat and mouse game between the two of you. There is an emphasis on youth and flirtation, heavy flirtation, I feel like, between the two of you. Like, almost, it was just too obvious. <laughs> the flirtation between the two of you was so obvious. But the follies of youth and inexperience and fear perhaps held you back. We have passion, wanting to, you, wanting to allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Forgiving and learning. I'm getting so many here. Attraction, chemistry coming out for you. Because it may have started with playfulness. It may have started with a very strong sense of innocence but they do not want to keep it there <laughs> they would like to get to know you on a different level because they feel like you could have been the one for them your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectation they still feel that way despite the fact that there could have been a very long standing separation or long period of time if your acceptance cherry pie 
I just saw enlightenment as well because they don't feel like there's much they can do at this moment with the clarity that they've received about their feelings. And the only reason they've received this clarity is because they've spent so much time going over it, dissecting it. We have gratitude and isolation. And I'm just getting this strong sense of recognizing I should be appreciative of what I have gained for myself. Um, it's like they do have a lot to be thankful for. And perhaps you have a lot to be thankful for as well in your life and everything that you've built for yourself. Um, but this connection, the attachment that they feel to, towards you, just feels like it is what it is. It's like I just feel it. I'm going to be using the Entanglement Oracle for you today. This is such a beautiful oracle, and I do actually have a discount code for shipping below that the author of this deck has offered my subscribers, so be sure to check it out if you're interested. The first card coming out says, I'm in awe of your enigmatic personality. And all of those puzzle pieces just give me a sense of like the missing piece, thinking that you are like the missing link to abundance, to experiencing it fully. Even though they have a lot of things to be grateful for in this present moment, but they still feel like there is one cup shy of total abundance. You have here, I do see a future with you and I do feel intention towards reaching out to you. Pawan, for some, this could be coming in as close as two years. And that may seem like a distant period of time, but for some people who have been in disconnect in this connection for a long time, that's not going to feel like a lot of time. Yeah, oops. I bring you up all the time. And this could be mutual friends, nostalgia from the past, bringing up old experiences or old times together, especially within the dynamics of friendship. We have here, I've been shook since I laid eyes upon you. And I wish that you would give me the benefit of the doubt. It's like they wish that they could have sort of break in th broken through some type of friend zone, feeling like they were sort of locked in a position here. It's like, please give me a chance. They also, there's like a symbolism here of breaking free from something, breaking free from the secrets that I held about my feelings for you, breaking free from current energies that are holding me back. I do want to explore my dark side with you. You see there's like handcuffs, fuzzy handcuffs, which is very physical in nature, but I also feel like the sense of like doing something that I shouldn't be doing that, I, that I'll get admonished for. It says here, can you handle me because I'm a lot and I do have a soul contract with someone else. Using the Cottage Divine Masculine Oracle. Again, you can find the link for this deck below as well. What are they currently thinking and feeling, please, in no contact? How do they truly feel right this moment for pile number one? I do replay everything that has happened in my mind. And I dream about the life that we almost had. It reminds me of that song by the Dixie Chicks. Home, not a night goes by that I don't dream of wandering through the halls that may have been. I am haunted by us. So haunted in those halls. Because I know that I did not follow my heart. I feel like there was a very strong lesson attached to this whole experience with you, Pile One. I knew the first moment I saw you and I am sick of no contact. The truth is, is that I still feel jealous over you on the back of that deck. Ask Spirit, please, for Pile Number One. How do they truly feel? The last thought that they had towards Pile Number One we have here time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun. It does say girl talk, so take that as it resonates. But there's an emphasis on friendship, wishing that they could have moved it into something more. And I also, again, there's anticipation towards more. Here is date, meeting someone new, getting back out there. But with the hands in the pocket, I do feel a strategy. So they have intentions perhaps of breaking free from a karmic union. And when they do, they don't know when this is going to happen. They think about it quite often. They don't know when it's going to happen, but when they do, that could be the point of contact for you. Yeah, hand of cards, taking a chance, being strategic, options not showing their hand and taking a gamble. Back of the deck, Cupid's arrow, having faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. And I feel a very strong intention coming from their energy towards you in the future, pile one. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number one your truest thoughts and feelings at this time. 
in no contact. Nine of Wands, big theme in the center of your reading, the Justice and the Seven of Pentacles. It's in the reverse, and I laugh because I feel like somebody who has planted a huge garden, and now they have to dig all of those roots out. And this is emphasizing what they've invested in in their life. This could be family. This could be uh, relationships. Um, it could even be the investment they've made in this connection, but it's like they know they have to uproot something. And there's a reality connected to that outcome. So they've been thinking heavily about the exhaustion in holding back. Wishing that they don't have to hold back anymore. We do have the cassette replaying events over and over in our mind. R U W R. We have divine feminine energy here with Aquarius and the white the white sea star as well, well, which is my symbolism for clarity, somebody who has achieved some type of clarity over this connection. The turtle is the knight of pentacles who is very responsible, but takes a long time to achieve their goals. We do have the little, the little rocking horse, I think of children. There was an emphasis on fatherhood here and there's the key. It's like you are a secret, the way that they feel you are a secret. Pile number one, that's what I have for you today. Hope it resonates with you. If it does, please drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to. And I just hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope that you have a great day. Hello, pile number two. You were drawn to the chalice with the green emerald and this is your reading the no contact person on your mind at this moment how are they truly feeling about you right now you were drawn to the white rose of hope from the oracle of mystical moments and this is your reading so this person already is still holding on to hope even if the shadow of doubt has slipped in into their energy and has sort of made them consider that there is the possibility that there isn't hope they still want to hold on to this hope um whether good, whether bad, though, I do feel like there's a sense of darkness in behind them. So hoping that the worst is behind them when it comes to surmounting love, when it comes to surmounting challenges, rather, within love with you. Um, and I'm hearing that song from Demi, from Demi um, Lovato, where she says, she was your ember, now I am your, or I am your, was your ember, now she is your shade of gold. So... Let's see what is coming out with this person's energy field. What are their, their current feelings and thoughts right this moment, please, for pile number two? The White Rose of Hope. We have the Two of Wands. We have the Three of Wands. We do have the Nine of Swords. It's coming in sideways, so we're just going to keep it just like that. The Five of Wands with the Queen of Swords. The Four of Wands. You know, I'm getting a real sense of intention and momentum coming from this person's energy field right now. And we, when we're dealing with tarot, it really is a current energy that we're tapping into. And this is their current energy. Like, it's hopeful, despite perhaps, again, shadows of doubt, nine of swords, and a state of limbo. So they've thought about the consequences. They've thought about the challenges. They've overthought about everything connected to you. They could have been dreaming about you, losing sleep over this situation, but there's like a certain amount of momentum. It's like every time I worry about something, it gives me a little bit more of a, ch of a chance to come up with solutions. And there's a determination coming through from this person. I almost feel like the only thing that could stop them from holding on to this hope and hoping for more is a, a word from you. It's like the only thing that could stop them is you saying, you know what, there's absolutely no hope. You putting your hand up and saying enough is enough. That's the only thing that would stop them. Because here we have the five of wands. Here we have the five of wands. And, and it's almost like they're chomping at the bit to tap into enough strength to come towards you because they do feel like there's a lot that has been unsaid between the two of you. And they want to be in a relationship with you. Even though this is no contact right now, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's been in no contact for a very long period of time. Now, please take that, that message as it resonates with your situation. I am reading for the collective, but they just feel like there's a sense of, of lack of clarity, 
It's like you don't know exactly how I'm feeling. And maybe if you knew how I'm feeling, then you would change your mind. And they do feel like they have to have a conversation with you in the very least. It's like I have to have a conversation with you so that you, I can give you all of the information. Because I feel like they, they think that you're lacking the information and they're lacking the information from you. So they may even call it closure if you're um, communicating with them in the future. But if you gave them the green light, I feel like they would be off to the races. Four of Pentacles, because they're sort of possessive over the connection. They feel like it, you, the two of you belong to each other or you should belong together. <clears throat> and on days where they're confident and filled with hope, they see the mutual energy between the two of you. I do feel like the two of you could be living in separate states or separate cities or separate countries. Like I just feel like there's a, a physical separation right now. It, again, it doesn't feel insurmountable or at least it isn't in their eyes. We have the devil. Capricorn. Emphasis here as well on Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Specifically Gemini coming through. The Nine of Wands. And I do feel, to be honest with you, that they're kind of tired of holding back or tired of the situation in this moment. That's why I feel like they're searching for solutions. And part of the solution is, is the conversation, is the clarity that they hope to achieve. They do feel like somebody, I don't know if there has been blocking, like you've blocked them in the past, or you've blocked them recently, or they just can't get a hold of you in some way. They're worried about you blocking them. And if you have currently blocked them, that's kind of hit their ego pretty hard. Or if you have blocked them in the past, they really don't like that. <laughs> or again, it's really hit their ego. But here, Five of Swords coming out reversed. It's like they want a fair shot. They want a fair chance. It's like, just give me a chance. It's like they want to prove that they can be giving. It's like, I want to prove to you I'm not a selfish person. I want to prove to you that I can be giving. We have the Three of Swords. And there even could be an emphasis here on hurting you or, or apologies that could have to come through as a part of this closure for the ways in which maybe they were selfish in the past or they prioritized their own safety. They didn't take action when they should have. That's what has contributed to this Nine of Swords in the rumination. That's when they're not filled with confidence or filled with hope. It keeps them here holding back. But today they're teetering towards hope. They're teetering towards perhaps making amends, or again, in the very least, clearing out the confusion between the two of you, because they feel like they haven't given you a very good impression of who they are or how they actually feel. They may have been very selfish in the past, as I said. They may have hurt your feelings in the very least, and they may, have, may have feel like they could have broken your heart a little bit, which is, could be why you have placed some boundaries here, or they're almost anticipating that you may place some boundaries in front of them in the future. <clears throat> They truly feel please for pile number two. Let go of control issues and allow the situation to unfold naturally. They they are speaking about boundaries as well that perhaps you have placed in front of them or you they're anticipating you placing for them. It's almost like they see you as like someone who's gonna lay down some ground rules <laughs> or lay down the law of your expectations. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. So you may have been involved or had a relationship with this person, but for some watching, I feel like it could have just been a fiery connection and there was no definition. And that's why they do feel like they perhaps require to give you definition of like where this is going, what their intentions are, because they want to give this relationship a chance. But back of deck says, pay attention to red flags. The signs have been cautioning you. And this person could have been a little bit of a walking red flag in your life in the past. They do have this desire to change. Now they are also operating off of old crutches and they are a, a creature of habit. So that could affect the momentum moving forward. I'm going to give you some messages from the Oracle of the Entanglement Oracle, which I do have a link below for um, a discount code and shipping that the author of this deck has offered. So be sure to check that out. How are they truly feeling in this present moment, please, in no contact? I have so much more I want to say. 
holding on to hope that they'll get a chance to say it. I should have been more honest with you from the start. And so they did feel like they kind of maybe told you what you wanted to hear at the very beginning. Trying to kind of really sink, <laughs> sink their teeth into you a little bit so that you wouldn't want to push away from them. You are my personal miracle. They also could have the type of personality that they really lay on compliments pretty quick or very thickly. I bring you up all of the time. This came up in pile number one as well. So talking about you, communicating about you perhaps with friends. On floor we have, I still remember how you smell. And I can't, I can't lie and say that they're not a little bit like physically possessive. It's, there's something about the physical energy between the two of you that they really can't shake. You make me rethink my entire existence. And that's why they, like, I feel like you're a good influence on this person in a lot of ways, even if they have disappointed in the past. I feel like you have really struck a chord with them in some way. Because, yeah, you're unlike anyone I know on the back of this deck. How do they truly feel, please, about pile number two in no contact? I hope that you can forgive me one day. I hide behind material things. I don't react when people mention you. It's like they're afraid to react when people mention you. They do. You get brought up. It says I bring you up all the time. But and yet they don't react when people mention you. I remember every detail of that day. So they're replaying events over and over in their mind. They have shown us the Nine of Swords multiple times for this reading. I know that I messed up everything. It's time for me to heal now. You came closer than anyone. And to be honest with you, I feel like part of their healing cycle is the willingness to change for others or the willingness to even use other people as inspiration to change so that they can actually experience more abundance in their present moment. Because it could be that they're holding themselves back from that abundance as well. How do they truly feel, please? What was the last thought they had about pile number two? In no contact. Ascension, transcending the obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. And I do feel like they are preparing for union. We have clock, though I need a little bit of time. It takes time, time to heal and progress. Making progress because of the boundaries perhaps that you've placed in front of them because of past conflicts between the two of you. Wanting to change because of those, the things that you've said, the ways that you've struck a chord with them. We have the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. That can come in with the five of swords for me. So if that is how you felt in the past of this connection, that's where the apologies are going to come in. Back of the deck, we have love call <laughs> someone expresses love a message of love thinking of you and letting you know we have the four of wands in the future position pile too so i do feel like this person will reach out to you has intentions to reach out to you because they do feel like the two of you have some things that they want to talk to you about you may or may not be open to that when we read for you in this way pile two your guys are just letting you know all of the information that they have that they feel like could be useful for you so that you can make a decision about what path you want to take for your highest good in the bowl today, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Whoops, out of the bowl, Five of Cups, King of Swords. I, there, I just feel like there were times when you felt like this person was intentionally mean or cruel sometimes. Like, and maybe they weren't intentionally being cruel, but just their actions were really painful. They made you second guess yourself. The truth is, is that this person's actions are a reflection of them and their own inner pain. But that doesn't help you in that moment when you're experiencing that. I do feel like there is a lot of regret that comes in. But I also feel like this person has a challenge in really letting their regret through. Um, they could have even been perhaps raised in like a narcissistic household where they picked up some of those, those energies. Just not knowing what to do with emotions when I have them. So running from them. We have G and E. We do have the pants. I do think of the sisterhood of traveling pants and hospital scrubs. 
We have healing for the divine feminine, the letter I. When I see the big I, I do think of the ego. We have and. We have the butterfly and the dragonfly, and we have the honeybee. So sweet results that await self-sacrifice, changing directions, transcendence, temptation and the microphone i do feel like they are going to tempt you by reaching out and you may have held your sort of really strong boundaries with this person but i feel like you could still be tempted by them so that's why they're asking you to really trust in your intuition to guide you at that time so it doesn't feel over pile two that is what i have for you today i hope it resonates with you if it does please drop your comment below for a chance to win a free reading with me you can also check out my link for etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to and i just hope that you have a beautiful day and come back here for a visit at the tarot cottage hello pile number three you were drawn here to the genie's lamp with the diamond jewel you're also drawn here to the stranded card and this is your reading the person in no contact on your mind at this moment, how do they truly think and feel about you right this moment? Now, the stranded card here is number 44, and you can see this sailboat with this person, the sailor, and here's the anchor. And the message of this card really speaks about how sometimes we don't even know what brought us here to this point. It's like, how did we get here? After everything, how did we manage to get ourselves here stranded? But there's also a sense of hopefulness with this card, because if we've stranded ourselves here on this, on this tree that we have built for ourselves in this connection, we certainly can haul anchor and change directions as soon as the wind shifts. And so there's a sense of hope, perhaps, and even clarity over perhaps what has brought us to this point. Because there's this big divide here between this branch and the top of the, of the tree. So even in the separation, the separation perhaps was the lifeline to the clarity that had to come in. So how do they truly feel in no contact, please, for pile number three? We have the nine of pentacles. We have the King of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. Could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could also be Water Energy potentially as well. And there's just a sense of like life taking you both in different directions. And these whales who are... are you know, there's these, there are these great big creatures, but these specific whales, you know, they eat the smallest, tiniest creatures in the ocean. So it's like they have, they're not, they're not scary in, in a sense. It's like the sense of like having a big heart. So this person has a big heart. <clears throat> but what they can't seem to do, it's like they, they can't seem to express themselves. The two of you perhaps can't express yourselves the way that you want to, and you feel like you're kind of drowning in that emotion. There's really been a lot of production, or it's like there's been a lot of productive periods in this disconnect for the both of you because you've gotten a sense of maturity now. Your hearts have matured. And I feel like there's love here between the two of you. Like, I feel like there's a genuine love. And here's the Eight of Cups. Here's the Moon. Scorpio energy, very strong. Pa page of Swords, back of decks. So the Page of Swords is like the student of life for me. He's gathering information. He's gathering clarity. So the two of you could have gone to school together. But they're also speaking about watching, watchfulness and kind of keeping a tab on you. So they could be keeping tabs on your situation. They seem to have an understanding about what's going on in your life without being involved in your life. We have the hanged man. <clears throat> back, of the, back of the deck is the empress. We also have the star of Aquarius here as well. And it's this blue star. There's a sense of like spontaneous awakening. It's like spontaneously having an aha moment when it comes to you. And I can't deny how like heavily pregnant this Empress energy is. So there is an emphasis on motherhood and fatherhood here too. I feel like perhaps for both of you, for some watching, I feel like there are family energies surrounding both of you at this time. And the truth is, is that I feel like because of these responsibilities, neither one of you can walk away. 
I don't even feel like maybe you would even choose to walk away. It feels like it almost, again, it feels like there has to be boundaries that are kept. And this is part of the fear of sort of escaping those boundaries, but it just feels like it just has to maintain the way that it is in this moment, or they just think that it does because of, like, it could be because of foundations, because of family units. It's like you both have really embraced the separation in some ways because you've both really, you've experienced relationships, you've moved forward, but it doesn't take away the emotion. It doesn't take away the love. This person would perhaps consider you like a, a benchmark of failure or a missed opportunity in some ways too. And there's an emphasis on like the church for someone watching, like you could have met them in church or like a youth group or something like that. Could have been like the first job we ever had. Because it just feels like a, an awakening, like a youthful awakening. And they kind of, they relish those memories. There's something really kind of beautiful about those memories. They still fantasize about the, the past as well. And part of them are still very curious about how you're feeling. I feel like there is confusion between the two of you, despite the fact that I do feel that there's mutual love. I don't feel like the two of you were able to really express it in a real way. We have the devil. And again, the attachments that you could perhaps mutually be in, it's not that you're stuck there and there's a, rec a recognition of that. You could walk away whenever you chose to, but you choose to maintain boundaries. Because we're just not ready to... Like, I feel like a mama bear energy. I'm not ready to make changes in my life that could affect other people. And that's just kind of almost like a leadership call. And I, it does feel like the two of you could be sharing that experience. Like, they could also be in a situation where they have boundaries and they, they can't really take on that leadership role yet either. <clears throat> Again, it's sort of a mixed bag. It's a bit of column A and a bit, a bit of column B when it comes to whether or not I am afraid to contact you or afraid to walk away from that environment or I genuinely feel like I have boundaries, I can't cross them, I'm not prepared to do that. It's sort of, it's a bit of both. We have the Hermit, the Lovers, the Nine of Pentacles. And despite having, you know, again, mutual Nine of Pentacles twice, there's a lot of, of abundance. There's a lot to be thankful for. There's a lot to be, that I've grown and built for myself. And I feel like there's even some happiness sprinkled in here too for your experiences. But it doesn't stop us from surrendering to that reflection. <clears throat> it doesn't stop them from comparing your energy to other people's. They do feel like this moment they have to retreat in how they feel because of cautious energy. Like they have to be careful because they feel like making a decision about you would require them to make a moral decision in their relationships at this time. And that just feels like it is the way that it is. It's like I, I know now in this separation, because I've embraced it, what has brought us here. But I have to have a change in the winds. There has to be a change in my situation that I'm not responsible for in order for me to move into the future or to make changes in this connection. Here's the Page of Cups, and we do have the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> it almost feels like sometimes they're waiting for you to just pop up out of the blue with communication. And this could be very mutual too. Both of you thinking about like, what would I say? What would happen if they just reached out? If we just had a conversation, I won't say that that's completely out of the question in the future, but this person's a little bit more cautious than your average bear. <laughs> I just heard they're just being a little bit more sort of driven by what they feel like is logic or a logical approach at this time. And that could be why they're like wondering about you reaching out. It's like, I wonder if they're ever going to reach out. And I feel like, again, you're in the same boat where you're like, well, I wonder if they're going to reach out. They may not reach out in a timely fashion. If you've been in disconnect for a while, you may expect that this could continue in a disconnect for the next little while as well, because they just feel like they have to surrender to the caution. They have to surrender to being very careful about steps that they would take towards you. And part of it, they're saying they're trying to maintain or, or respect your boundaries. 
There's an emphasis on like legal issues and not wanting to create havoc in that department either. I'm going to use the Entanglement Oracle for you today. And again, there is a link below to reduce the amount of shipping costs that the author of this deck has offered for my subscribers. It says, I don't want to taint you. They don't want to come in and steal what isn't theirs. It's like they feel like you belong somewhere else or you belong to another environment. Um, it says, you are my personal miracle. And I haven't told you everything about how I'm feeling. I know that I should move on. But there's always an emphasis here on Tinkerbell for me. And I always think of Neverland and not wanting to grow up, not wanting to move out of this, out of this period of time where you woke me up. It's like you woke me up from a slumber. Why didn't you call or text an emphasis on like waiting for you to contact them? I'm scared to feel how I truly feel because maybe then it would loosen my boundaries. Drape me in your sunshine. It, the color orange makes me think of you. I always say that reminds me of the song, something the orange tells me we're not done. And wishing that you would drape them in clarity. Wishing that you would clarify how you truly feel about them in the present moment. Have they truly feel, please, at this moment in no contact to pile number three, please. I've been hurt by love before. And I pray about us. There is an emphasis on church or, again, like a youth group, some sort of situation with an institution. Could be school, potentially. I want to reconcile with you. Please give me a chance. Oops. I do think about the future, and when I do, I think about you in it. And I do, again, in a perfect world, I think that they would want to be in a relationship if they knew exactly how you were feeling. Um, again, an emphasis on wishing that you would reach out to them. And of course, these readings, do, they, not, they don't tell you what to do. Your guides aren't saying you have to reach out to this person. They're just presenting you with the thoughts and feelings that this person has had about your situation up to this point. We have here, I reminisce a lot about the times I've spent with you. And the back of the deck says, I have been thinking about proposing to you. You're so different, but that's why I love you. So there's something about a proposition. They could have thought about this in the past as well, thinking that you could have fit so perfectly into their life. Their current feelings and thoughts, please, for pile number three. Photograph, looking at your photos and missing you, nostalgia, wishing that they could make new memories. Engagement ring, P partnership, completion, union, wishing, uh, again, there's an emphasis on proposals, emphasis on wish, wishing that they should have proposed, wishing that they could. There could be an emphasis on, on commitment cycles at this time as well. Just saw camera, closely related to the photograph card. We have ascending, wanting to transcend obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, but preparing for union. And I will say here with the Hermit, there definitely is an emphasis on making plans, but taking very short steps to get there. Back of the deck says, I really like you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming. Fun flirting with you and wanting to date you. In a perfect world. Let's get a charm bowl, please, for pile number three. <clears throat> Advice for pile number three, please, in this no contact love situation. King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Emphasis on Leo in this moment and Six of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this person does have a plan for clarity, but part of that plan is dependence on you. <laughs> it's like part of that plan is hoping that you'll be the one that reaches out for them or reaches out to create clarity. They know that they have the freedom of choice to reach out in this moment. But they also, there's an emphasis on commitment cycles. There's an emphasis on, on children, actually, in this moment for someone watching. That may not be a message for everyone, so please take that as it resonates.
we have the letter A. We have the butterfly of transformation and another A as well. We also have here the queen of wands and sort of taking, I also get a message about creative accountability and perhaps maybe you're waiting for clarity to come in. We have a dime here from 2016. So there is an emphasis on the six of swords and lack of closure, I think also of Libra and the 10th of any month. And we have healing for the divine feminine and music. So there could be a song that's closely related to a name as well that I'm feeling. So please take that as it resonates. Aquarius energy for the divine feminine. All right, that's what I have for you today. Pile number three. If it resonates with you, please drop your comment below for a chance to win a reading with me. You can also check out my link for Etsy for a personal reading if you feel called to. And I just hope that you come back here and visit me at the Tarot Cottage. And I hope you have a great day.